today I'm here forcing someone to do a video with me. But you're looking good, don't mind. I don't want. Who told you I want you to kiss me? Oh yeah, my friend. And I'm going for this video. You are seeing. Yes, so guys, hey, can you get serious? I don't want to be kissed. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> so you're saying? If right now we are outside the Cancer Institute, and I want to tell you guys, we have every reason to be grateful to God. We have. Because actually, I was out there waiting for someone, and I couldn't stay there because just looking at how people were ill was making me sick. I had to come out, and I'll tell you. If you're out there and you're doing well, you're not you're not sick, you have every reason to thank God. <clears throat> so honey, what did you do to get a beautiful wife like me? Which prayers did you pray? Zele kunta libra itavanto konte le miante ki bradi. God give me my wife tall and chocolate. <laughs> give me my wife <laughs> feeling the black spaces. Hey you have Mm -hmm. no. Let's get serious. Can I do a video with you today? Mm -hmm. Hello, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Baby, say hello, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to my wife's channel. Continue. And uh, please follow, subscribe, and please watch all the videos that come out of it because they are really super amazing. Thank Thanks you. to my baby. Thank you, baby. Oh. Honey? Yes? What made you fall in love with me? First of all, uh, I would like to say it's about the way you serve God. Oh. Yeah. So, I'm so grateful that uh, I got someone that is passionate about Christ. Mm. Someone that... Uh, longs to have a deeper connection with God then uh, that is a person that I really wanted to have in my life mm. that's the person I yearned for and God brought her my way yeah yeah so that's really what Be do you remember before we started dating and uh, when we were back in Tereti, I was praying and I was crying and I think you liked me and then you brought me a hunky. Yeah. I think I was getting slayed or something. And then you brought me a hunky. It was mm -hmm. so nice of you. I mean, those are the moments that I was like, okay, this guy, eh? this guy is, is trying his luck and yeah, it was really nice that we all were like in the presence of God. We met in the presence and all that. Yeah, and I thank God that uh, He really brought you. I really never gave up on you. Yeah, you never gave up on yeah, me. Yeah, I never I, gave up on I you. I really gave you a run though, for your money. Though you, you wanted to run away <laughs> because <laughs> I was broke. <laughs> Dating oh. a working class oh. when you're broke. My you're friend, not broke. You, if, I I don't say you, you were broke. If though. if if your your heart is not uh, strong, yes. No, but I think you will just give up easily. But I think our story was God written. Yeah. You know, God had written our story because I, I I feel like there's so many. I think we are going to talk about how we met, but this is just a little bit of touchy touchy. We are here just doing nothing. So you know mm. this is my amazing husband honey what what is the one thing you tell young men like you who love the lord about marriage because i feel like there's so many young men who feel like marriage is work you know when you get married you're taking care of this woman it's a big responsibility mm. because i remember when i met you you kept on telling me something that I was not scared of marriage, but you mm. kept on telling me marriage is beautiful, marriage is beautiful. And now I understand because in your family, all your brothers are married and, and most of you guys are young mm -hmm. and you're very happy. And I feel like it's just a seed. I don't know who planted it that is really working for you guys. But to those young men out there, what would you tell them? To the, young, to the young men out there, 
What I want to say is, marriage is what you make it. Yep. Okay? Mm. It is not about what you learn from the outside. You will never have a marriage that is like for the other person. Yeah, it's your own experience. It is your own experience. Yeah. It is your own institute and you correct it yourself. Mm. So most times we, we want to go to counselors and all that stuff. Yes, Which most people have gone bad. to it's not bad. Most people have gone to counselors and yet uh afterwards they, they divorce. The okay? best counselor is God. But the best counselor, yes, exactly. The best counselor is, is cool. always God. You know, go to your <clears throat> knees and then you pray. Yeah. Mm. Actually it say that people who last long in relationships, those people both of them have to be in love with God. Yeah. It's like when you're both in love with God, it's like all of you are chasing God. For some reason you meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's what you see, I feel like even in most cases when you find that the other partner prays more than the other, you find that this one will be like weary. Mm. Yeah, the other one is shooting but high. Then, but when all of you are like literally chasing for Christ, mm. he's the one who perfects your love life, he's the one who teach you guys, guide you at the same pace. Very true. Yeah. Another thing is marry your friend. Yeah. Get your friend. And marry because, her. Because you know most times we we go for uh looks. Appearance. Yeah. Appearance just because they have this and that, nyash, <laughs> because they have this. You oh know. my god. But the truth is, marry your friend. Your friend will always be there for Definitely. you, they will always look out for you. But do you, you know, know, even friendships kind of sometimes people, you know, some people are friends at first when they get married, things change. Yeah, they change, but I'm telling you. You have to establish you, a secret foundation of yes. friendship because the people who just have this friendship. That friendship you have to be like it, no. friends who okay, care about be, each oh, other. Yes. Yeah. And so maybe they always say they say that agape love mm. that the best way to fall in love with someone is mm. by agape. Yes. That when when I when I fall like agape makes me see you as a child of God, you see me as a child of God, mm. and then mm. what happens is that most of the times the feelings are there, mm. but with agape comes sacrifice. Mm -hmm. It comes surrender yeah. because when you love someone you, mm. with the love of God, you're always focused on putting them first. Very you true. always focus on surrender like a man they say that if there is only one plate of food you give your wife yeah if if there is just one car and it's raining you give your wife mm. so what what do you want to add on to that about the agape love agape love is uh, uh you have to share you know mm. you have to share a lot it's of the love of god it's a love of god so most times you you i mean you sacrifice yes what you have for the other then also the other is like no okay like sh let's share this yeah you know? that's you're how you're thinking it is. about the you're other. thinking about the other before yourself yeah okay so that is what all i can say about agape love so you're saying that young men should come in knowing that they are supposed to put their wives first yeah you have to put your wife first because now this is a generation <coughs> it's no longer like you know how our fathers used to be, how our per our grandfathers used to be. Yeah. By the way, like talking this about is, that, mm. you are one man that I know and I thank God for you. You're one guy who cooks, who cleans, and I feel like this is something that you have, like in your family, you've been instilled that character. It's mm. not something that it's, it's in you. Whereas there are boys who are like, I can't do this. You know, this is... Uh, wives thing to do. You're the kind of guy who is like, I'm washing and you're literally hanging the clothes or you're washing. There's just that shared, you know, responsibility. I would want to talk about that. Mm. Now, let's look at uh, the time when both of you are working, okay? Yeah. All of you are working and uh, all of you are coming back home late. Mm. What if you you came back home before your wife? Yeah. Can't you really cook? Yeah, you're going to really wait prepare. for her. You're going to really wait for her. Come on, baby. What if it comes out, she comes back around 11 or, mm. or midnight? Yes. Are you really going to wait for her that ah, until she comes back? Comes back. That's when, that's when I will eat. No. Oh, you cook, you for, cook yourself. for yourself. and then prepare for her too. Yes. 
that's how it is supposed to be then in the morning when you're having breakfast you know it may take longer preparing so you go and prepare breakfast for them and i'm so good put something on the table and yes tell her you challenge me so much that most times i want to do more I want to do more for you, mm. but though nowadays you don't really do a lot of work, cause you don't you don't do anything. I feel like for you, what makes me even love you the more is that you always come in when I need you the most. You always come in, but also you've given me to believe that there are good men out there. There are men who are going to, cause like uh, may he so rest in peace, uh, Monroe. He said that. When a man marries, you're not marrying a wife to mm. do your work. Your She's, work. A yes. helper. She's a helper. She's just here to help you. Mm -hmm. So when you make it look like, oh, it's hard work to wash plates, so I am to do this. Mm. Those are the things that are destroying marriages Very today. True. But when you come in with a mindset of like, oh, we are can going help. to help each other. We are partners, we in, are this. partners in this. You know? It really Then helps. it will help you so, so much yeah. in your marriage, in everything that you do your day-to-day -day life having your day -to -day, an open mind yes yeah i feel like in uganda most it has a lot of fears young people young mm. people there's so many young people and right now people are getting married mm. but on which basis are you getting married mm. don't give your heart to someone who is not actually ready to protect that heart because some people break your heart and leave you there and they say that hard people Hard people hurt others, mm. you know. So there's so much damage, and people keep on. People don't even want to heal from one relationship to the other. God is the healer, and I think as a generation, I, when we get married like this, we are holding the flag for Christ. So, babe, mm -hmm. what are you grateful for? Like, you know, the year is coming to an end, and um, I know God has been faithful. He has been so good to us. But what is the thing you're so grateful for? One thing I'm so grateful for is uh, mm. the gift of family. Oh yeah. God has given me an amazing wife. The one that can never be replaced. Amen. Hallelujah. And, uh, I'm so grateful for him also giving us life yeah because so many of them so many have gone and uh we still alive we have every reason to be grateful to god if you're there and you're okay you're not sick be grateful to god and i think for me honey one of these <clears throat> days one thing that god has been teaching me is just living a healthy life mm -hmm. how do you eat eating healthy though you're the one who, you're the one who's always missing my eating habits you know like you know eat well make sure what you're taking in is actually healthy and good for your body yeah for example pork pork is very nice <laughs> Babe, pork. i'm not going to speak for you if pork is doing well for you it's okay but just eating greens eating all those things but the truth is god has been good yeah and i feel like we need to take you know moments of just gratitude <clears throat> you know take hours just telling god thank you thank you always asking him for we're something we're always asking god for a lot yeah. you know without even thanking without him for the things thanking he has already him given. for what he has done for you this year already one thing that i'm very sure about is that that we have to always put faith above fear faith about our expectations because sometimes we expect a lord that we miss out on god's plan for us because we front our expectations we do the rushing yeah we rush ourselves we rush so ourselves much. so much and what do you end up doing crashing you crash by the way there's something i learned some lady say Okay, like things that we're just speaking spiritual here. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. ladies say that we, as children of God, we are always trying to be holy. Mm. And we're like, oh, I, I, I first want to become holy before I approach the throne of mercy. Oh, I, I, I've been doing this, I've been doing bad stuff. Let me first become holy before I go to God. 
but your holiness is not the way to to Christ because Christ is the way to holiness it says come the way you are yeah. like you have to receive Christ so that you can walk the holy walk mm. but you don't have to first become holy to go to Christ, to Christ. because he wants you just the way you, you are, are. Yeah. Because today I feel like so many Christians have failed in salvation because every time they sin, they want to go back to it. They feel like they have to first go work on themselves before they come back to God. No! He says, I am in you and you are in, in me. me. You are his child. Just like the prodigal son when he went back, he mm. was received. Mm -hmm. He didn't wait to be perfect. He didn't wait. Like, don't first wait to eat with the pigs yes. for, it. <laughs> for it to realize that you have to go back to your heart. To your your mm. And I feel like right now, be with whatever is happening. Have you seen the rate at which people are divorcing? Mm. There's just a high rate, and mostly that celebrities. That's why, as as in children, was it yesterday when we were listening to a man of God who was teaching about ah, yes. about uh, marriage? He said, in in the in the world, in the, world. the men have more power to walk away from a relationship because they don't understand the leadership the call of god in their lives so women most times are the ones begging she knows when she comments on anything he will go out will for go three, out days. And three days comes back. <clears throat> he comes back and the woman mm. is you know calm and always going to take him the way it is whereas in the in the side of christianity women the have women. the power because most times this men and they're misusing, it. And they're misusing it because men understand what they are called to do mm. as leaders as you know the christ the representative of christ in their home yes but then like christian women are also misusing that misusing that yes you know so they are refusing to submit because they have the part most of these men don't a man who is called of god who knows his his role he will remain there he will remain there so it say that most times it's now the women who misuse that power mm. But as Christians, for us, please don't misuse that part. I can't misuse that part, but you know, I don't misuse that part. <laughs> so, as Christians, we are different, we are not of the world. Our marriages are supposed to be something that God that, oriented, yeah, God oriented, God centered. Yes, yes, God centered. Yeah, I think in my other videos, I talked about that. Like for us coming together, yes, love is there, but love fades away. Love will fade away. But but what keeps you, what keeps the relationship holiness. is, are you of God? Are you of God? That yes. because marriage, I in man of God say that marriage will not bring you happiness. Mm -hmm. As we think, there are days where you like, there are rough days. Mm, there are rough days. There are days where you go back to bed, I don't have to look at you, partner. You know. Yeah, there are rough days, babe. Yeah, there. And uh, and the only thing that keeps you together is knowing that this union is it's a godly union. Mm. And um, the benefits of just getting married for Christians. Why, for us, some people might think, oh, <clears throat> because right now the rate at which young Christians are getting married is so high. Mm -hmm. But I feel like those who understand that it's for holiness, because now you, you know the sex is holy. You know everything is holy. Mm. I, I mean, you, you're not condemned, you're grounded, no fornication. For some reason, you know that God has brought me to this place to protect me. Because actually, I feel like we are protected when you get married. Yeah. If you understand what its purpose is. Mm. Yeah. That's very true. So, honey, thank you so much for accepting to, you know, join me in this channel. You know, what is mine is yours. You're welcome. Really, babe? Oh, yes. You're welcome. Babe. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share. Please comment below and like this video. We love you with the love of... Christ. Bye. See you Bye. in the next video.